Uh, the last thing I'm going to do here in a little overtime is add a text field at the top that lets us type in what we want to search for instead of always looking for Stanford. So we're going to get Stanford out of there. Okay. So how do we do that? It's real easy. We have, if you remember the table view, it's got this little header view at the top. So I'm just going to take a UI text field. Remember this editable text field we learned about in the last lecture. And I'm going to put it on the top. It's a little hard sometimes to see where it's going, but when it looks like this, the width of the table, then you've got it. It's dropping it in there. It's also a little hard to select and click on. So you're going to want to use that control shift click. And that way you can pick either the controller, the table view, or in this case, the text field. Um, I'm going to inspect it and change it a little bit. I'm just going to make the font a little bit bigger. We'll say 22. Now, notice I can also set all those text field things I was talking about. Like, I don't want it auto-correcting. I don't want to say, search for hashtag, su hashtag Super Bowl and change it to hashtag Super Space Bowl. Okay, so I don't want any correction going on. Keyboard type. Ooh, look, there's a Twitter keyboard type. It's probably got hashtag and at sign, things like that. Uh, the return key, that's just the key on the thing that says return. Uh, I'm searching here, so I want it to say search. So that just means the return key is going to say on it search. Um, also, a little clear button would be cool, cool a button you can press to clear out uh, what's going on. So you can kind of configure this in any way you want uh, to make it work in there. Now, normally I would run this and show you that it's there, but of course, let's wire it up first so it actually does something. It's real easy to wire up a text field. You just want to hook it up to an outlet and set its delegate, and then you can find out when the return key is pressed. So let's do that. We'll go here. Let's get our tweet table view controller on screen at the same time. We just want to create an outlet to that thing. I'll put it uh, right in here. So I'm just, uh, again, I would probably want to shift click to select it. All right? Oops, picked the wrong one. So let's just click, collect this, <laughs> select this, and control drag from it. And see, it's a UI text field. And I'm going to call this my search text field. Simple as that. When it's set, I'm going to set my, myself as its delegate. Search text field dot delegate equals self. Of course, for me to be its delegate, I have to go up here and say, yes, I am a UI text field delegate. Okay, there, all the methods are optional in there, so I have now successfully implemented that protocol. Um, what happened here? Uh, yes, okay. So that's, so I've set the delegate. Now I'm going to implement the delegate method I want, which is that should return. It gets sent to me when the return button is sent. So that is text field. Notice as I type text field, it shows me them all, and it's this one right here. Text field should return. Let me make this bigger bigger so you can see it better. Okay, so here should return. Uh, if I get return, I'm actually going to check to make sure I'm getting this from my search text field because someday I might have other text fields and I want to make sure I'm getting, I know which one I'm talking about. So text field is this argument right here and I'm just checking to make sure it's me. And if that is true, then I'm just going to set my search text equal to the search text fields text. Okay. Make sense? And when I set my search text, that's immediately going to start it going. Notice that should return also returns a bool, which is whether to do what it normally does when return is pressed, which in this case is nothing because we don't have any target action or anything else, but we'll return true. Sure, do what you normally do. Now the only other thing here is now that we have the search text field up here, when we set our search text, we want to update our search text field. And I'll be careful here in case I'm doing it in prepare. We'll set it to uh, the search text that we just set it to. Also, I'm going to have my search text field resign first responder here. That's if somebody types something and hits go search, and we, we search for something and put it in there, I'm going to take the keyboard away, because I just don't want to have the keyboard blocking the results that they just asked for. Also, if someone sets it in code, I'm going to get rid of the keyboard, even though someone might be in the middle of typing. But if someone sets it in code while they're typing, let's get that keyboard uh, out of the way. All right, so let's go do that. Leave this code on the screen so you can see it. All right, so here is our uh, text field. It's kind of hard to see under this carrier. We'll fix that in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and search for hashtag Stanford again. Oh, whoops, I'm not going to do this. Watch this. Okay, that looked easy to type, didn't it? Well, let's go here and say keyboard, turn off the hardware keyboard. 
Now, when we click in here, oh, it's a lot harder to type. Hashtag Stanford. Okay, so now you're getting to what I'm saying about learn to type like your users will be. And so here I'm going to search. Goes in Stanford and searches for it. Let's go search for something else here. Um, maybe we'll search for, this is kind of dangerous because the people might say, but Trump. Okay, there's some Trump uh, ones. Okay, now we've done all this. I want to fix this thing though where this looks really bad uh, at the top here and there's a really easy fix to that, which is I'm just going to, this is the fix, the fix is everything in the UI as you've learned. I'm just going to embed this in a navigation controller. Okay, when you embed this in a navigation controller and run, you're going to see that it makes a nice title at the top, it moves the text field down, uh, it's just much nicer all the way around. Okay, see how it's done that, it's moved it, it down here. Um, one other thing I'm gonna do is put a placeholder text in there. I meant to show you that, sorry, let's do that. If I go back to here, click this thing in here, select this guy, you can put a placeholder text like this, Twitter search, and see it shows it in there, kind of in light gray, so that when you run, it's more obvious to the user, what is that big white space, right? Be clear to them that it's a Twitter searching thing here. You know all you need to know to do your homework. Good luck with it. <laughs>